Hi everyone, it's Envis here with a quick video today on using the Fiskars stamp press. This is a clear acrylic plate with grid lines, makes for accurate um, stamping with sponge feet. The centre plate is removable, uh, makes for easy cleaning and you can also use that as a second stamp plate. Just clips in. Lots of you may be saying, well I've got a lot of wood mounted stamps, well so have I, but what I do, what I have been doing is unmounting them by popping them in the microwave. I then pop them onto an onto an acrylic sheet and keep them in an envelope with a reference, a stamped reference sheet. And I keep them in boxes that I get from IKEA. The envelopes come from Poundland. <clears throat> so a couple of quick ideas on the sort of um, things that you can do. It's excellent for multiple stamping you place your stamps on the on the cardstock in the way that you want them pick them up by pressing the stamp press down and then you've got your stamps perfectly placed i used a load of cheap cards um christmas sentiments for this card and a load of flowers for this little note card so let's get on and make a card <coughs> I'm going to be using a stamp set from Clearly Besotted and um, I'm just going to mask the back of the card with post-it tape to stop ink from getting on it, which in fact I still manage to get ink on it. I find that doing these videos you have to work so <coughs> super quick, but I just wanted to give you the idea. Uh, that's a piece of Cricut vinyl that's cut out with the uh, power punch using that as a mask I want a sentiment. I'm using my grid mat to work out where the center of the front of the card is and I'm going to be placing my first stamp using the grid taking a note of the grid marks on the stamp press and then inking the stamp up with some memento ink. This is a going to be a quick practically one layer child's card so just pressing the stamp press down and there you go a perfect impression and because I took a note of the of the grid marks it's really quite easy to to follow on to get your stamps in a perfect perfect placement every time. The blue cloth that I'm using is an absorber cloth that I bought on Amazon. Um, I think it's actually a car cleaning chamois and it's perfect for cleaning your stamps with just water. I prefer it to baby wipes and it's a lot cheaper in the long run. <clears throat> Next I'm popping the little comet tail on there. I'm a bit short of orange ink so I'm using a really cheap ink pad that was in a box of ink pads from Hobbycraft that I think is intended for children to use but not the best ink but it did the job here. I'm going to carry on with um, <coughs> with stamping another row of these little rockets. And sometimes when you're stamping, um, repeat stamping like this, it's really quite difficult to to get everything lined up. But the stamp press makes it really easy and because you can, uh, the stamp press is flexible unlike the stamping blocks, you can really put pressure on the stamp and it does mean that you get really crisp and clear impressions every time. And the advantage of course of clear stamps is that you can see if you don't stamp perfectly for whatever reason, if you haven't inked the stamp up enough, you can see to go over the the stamped image again pretty well very accurately so it does mean that um, 
that your stamps your stamping is is much more crisp than uh, than it would be without without this tool. It's relatively inexpensive as well. It retails in the UK for fourteen ninety nine, and I think this is excellent value. And personally, I think it's a great addition to anybody's crafting stash. So this is a very quick little card for one of my little grandsons. I've got three little grandchildren, boys, so uh, I'm always on the lookout for, for boys' cards. See, I managed to get ink on the back of the card even though I was careful. Now I'm going to be peeling off that uh, that mask. And I'm just going to be using the uh, the card as a mask to make sure that I centre the the center, the little sentiment which says one, two, three, blast off right in the centre of that uh, of that circle. I'm going to use some black Versafine onyx ink which is my favourite black ink nice crisp clear black to put on that and I've already die cut a little circle using an MFT circle stitch circle die to uh, to just pop on there and I've there's some tiny little stars in the stamp set and I'm just using the back of a ink pad to pop that tiny little stamp on there to just add a little something I don't want to overdo it and uh, I'm just going to add just two or three I'm having my usual tussle with glue two or three tiny little sequin stars to add just a little something extra to the card And there we go. I just wanted to show you how easy it was to do repeat stamping with this tool. So I hope that's helped any of you who wondered exactly what this did. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.